What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you one of the top two best dash cam and backup camera systems that you can get today on the market. I'm gonna show you the differences between each one. Now I did a couple installation videos how to install these dash and backup camera systems. They're awesome. Uh, if you guys are interested in those installation videos, check out the links in the video description below. If you like uh, videos like this, uh, give me a thumbs up. This lets me know that uh, you guys are interested in these types of videos and I'll continue to produce um, car tech videos like this. I'm gonna start off with the new M8 video footage. Records amazing at night in full HD, but so does the M6 system. They both have a lot of the same features like touch screen, records in three different resolutions, 1296p, 1080p, and 720p, 30 frames per second. They both have motion detection recording, video reverse aid, loop recording, parking monitoring, and G-sensor lock. If you are away from your car in a parking lot, if someone backs up into you, it'll record and lock that recording. They both install very similar when you plug in your power cord into the cigarette lighter port and connect to your tail light for the backup camera. The M6 goes for around $109 and the M8 goes for about $169. But the M8 offers 180 horizontal degree backup camera. Now if you don't want to use a cigarette lighter port because it's sloppy or you only have one port in your car and you don't want to use it up on the rear view mirror, uh, you can hardwire the system using the fuse kit, which I highly recommend. And you simply uh, find the fuse box, uh, remove the cover, and locate either the audio 12 volt line, or um, you gotta look for the horn, or even the cigarette lighter port 12 volt line, that would work. Uh, I try to avoid anything like safety wise, like airbags. The M6 has six built in LEDs for at night and the M8 has a better CMOS and lens. Both connect to the tail light, and once you put it in reverse, you trigger the backup camera. Now, with the M8 rear view mirror, of course, your LCD screen is a lot bigger, so it's easier to navigate and touch all these bigger icons. Uh, the M6, this, uh, the mirror itself is bigger, so if you have uh, a big rear view mirror in your car or truck, I really opt for the um, M6 since it'll fit over your existing rear view mirror. The M8 is only 11 and a half inches, does not cover my existing rear view mirror, but the M6 is wider and it does at 12.2 inches in width. But if you have a standard size rear view mirror, then I would opt for the M8 because the M8 has um, a couple new features which makes it a little bit better than the M6 and one of the notable new features is EWS feature, which is the Lane Detection Warning System. This is really great to have for people who drive long distances and it'll alert you when you're you know, veering off out of the lane. Now, as you notice, the M6 is smaller screen, but the, it's a bigger mirror, so it'll fit over bigger um, rear view mirrors. Now, both mirrors have their own installation kit. Uh, pretty much identical setup and uh, cables to uh, the M6 and M8. So if you uh, install the M6 in your car, you could just simply swap out the head unit and it should work. Um, they both have the cigarette lighter port power cable, same connection, mini USB. They both come with extra rubber bands. Um, they both have backup cameras. Of course, this one has the wide angle lens and the other one has six LEDs to illuminate when you're backing up. And they both connect to your reverse light if you want to trigger the backup camera. Now what's cool about these mirrors is you can do the playback right on the mirror itself. Just go into menu and then click browse. On this mirror, it's called playback. Select, uh, I, think, I think it's normal. Here is my test footage right here. So that is currently muted. And then I hit the mic button. And that's uh, unmuted, testing, testing, one, two. The mic is on currently. It's testing, I'm doing an audio test. 
So if you're interested in any of these mirror DVR systems, check out the links in the video description below. Of course, the installation videos are gonna be in the video description below as well. If you wanna be entered in on that giveaway, follow me on Instagram and like the post. And if you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on this subscribe link right here or down below. And if you wanna check out my other car tech videos, check out this playlist right here. And if you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and help someone out, share this video to them. Later guys.